What's up everyone, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel you guys have seen from the thumbnail or the title that today we're gonna to be talking about the battery packs that work with cold sparks. But it's a power con out, so you could also power your moving heads. Let's get into it. So I just posted a couple weeks ago the Cold Spark video, which got a great response. Lots of information talked about on that video. So if you want more education on Cold Sparks, go check out that video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the battery packs. These are specifically the battery packs from Both Lighting, and if you guys would like to check them out, there'll be a link down below to Both Lighting USA. Full transparency, I am the owner of Both Lighting USA. That is my company. We are the US distribution dealer for Both Lighting. But in this video, it's more about the education and explaining what these battery packs are and what you can use them for in your company to make more money or to make your life easier as well. So in this video, we're gonna go through, first off, we'll go through all the specs of the actual battery itself, the plugs, the screen, everything you need to know about the actual battery pack itself. Then let's talk about all the different things we can power and how long we can power them for to give you guys the full details on everything. And we'll also show the cases that they come in and talk about the price point of everything. So let's get into the specs. These are the batteries from Bofa Lighting. They are about 13 pounds each. They're, they're pretty light. They got some nice handles to help pick them up on the sides. Uh, and you're looking at about 12 inches by 12 inches by four inches. It's, it's a little less than that. All right, so we're on the workbench and we got a variety of batteries around us, some Egos, and I have some Ryobis on the corner because this is my tool bench, of course. This right here is the both lighting battery pack in the flesh. What you're looking at here, it's got a all metal exterior, which in this case is a matte black finish. It also comes in white. So if you guys have white cold sparks, white moving heads, you can match white or black, depending on which one you want. I personally have all black cold sparks in our inventory. So we have black battery packs. Uh, like I mentioned, we have handles on the side. There are cooling fans on both sides of this unit. On top here, you can remove this with some simple Phillips head screwdrivers, but this is a mounting plate that basically the cold sparks fit beautifully in here. We're gonna test and see if the moving head feet sit in here as well. I already know that the uh, spot movers do not, but we'll check them out and see how that all works. The front of it is a flat black finish. It is a little dirty from us using it outside. And on the back side here is where all the controls lie. So you have a nice big on and off switch right here. You have power con in and power con out. This is only for charging. This is your power con in to charge the unit, your power con out. If you wanted the daisy chain and charge something else, you could do that as well. We have a fuse right here. We have all the specs on the unit itself right here. Talking about the input uh, LCD display over here in the corner. We'll zoom in that in a second. And down here on the bottom, it will check mark if you have a 110 volt or a 220 volt. So if you live in the EU and you need 220 volts for your lighting, you can get them specced for the EU side of power versus here in America, we all have 110. So the battery packs are 110. Zooming into the controls here. So basically this is your battery indicator. It tells you how much percentage you have less. Little side note, once this gets below 5%, the battery will shut off. That's a safety precaution. Batteries, you never wanna drain down to zero. So as a safety precaution, as soon as it hits 5%, it shuts off. Up here, we have our voltage output. So we're at 113 volts. Good output, our frequency, 60 Hertz. That is the standard uh, electrical that you'll find in America, but it's good that you can double check that it is correct. Again, down here, we're 110 volt, 60 Hertz. If you're in the EU or somewhere else that has 220, they have a 220, 50 Hertz model as well. Then there is power output. So once we plug in a unit, it'll tell us how much power we are pulling. And at the bottom here, we have UPS, basically meaning that this is a UPS battery system. UPS, for anybody that doesn't know, is an uninterrupted power supply. Uninterrupted power supply unit. Then coming back over here by the power con, we have this flap that covers the power connectors. So this is actually the active power right here, the ground neutral and hot that comes out of this. So don't try and plug anything else into it except for the proprietary cable that comes with the batteries themselves. And just for science purposes, I got an XLR right here and um, it is a different size. But just in case you have a roadie that's stupid and tries to plug in the XLR, again, I shut the battery off, it will not actually fit into the slot. So safe to know that the only thing that you could plug into it is the proprietary cable that came with it. So if you look at the connector, you will see a notch right here at the bottom. That indicates 
down. So that's where it's gonna go in down on the unit itself. So if I flip this up, make sure that notch is facing to the bottom. I can plug it in and then this outer ring has to come in and slide and lock into place. So if I turn it, it locks in and now this is locked into place and will not go anywhere. So it only goes in one way. If you try to put it in a different way with those three, it will start to go in, but it will not go in fully. So you gotta make sure you get it fully lined up, plugged in and locked into place and you're good to go. And now you have your power con here that you can plug into whatever device you want to power. And that really is as simple as it gets with the cold spark battery. You now have a power con, you can plug it into whatever accepts power con that you can use with this. And the most practical things that I came up with are moving heads and of course what it was designed for, cold spark machines. So like I mentioned, this top plate is removable but it's designed to fit perfectly with the cold spark machine. So that way it's not moving around all over the place. Let's go ahead and test the other moving heads that we offer here. So we have the spots, or these are the wash movers, and they do not fit. No, they do not fit. They, well, well wait, 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 did I get it? The wash movers do not fit inside of the slots. Spot movers. No, not even close. Again, if you want to remove the plate, there's just five Phillips screws right here. You remove those five and you can take this plate off. And like I mentioned, it's as simple as putting whatever fixture you want on the battery itself, plug in the power con, turn on the battery, and voila, the moving head will now turn on. It's doing its little warm up sequence. You can see on the front here, it's going through and doing resetting right now. And here in a second, it'll actually start right there. Battery powered moving head, just like that. It's as simple as that. If you want to put the cold sparks on here, I always recommend shutting off the battery before uh, you actually hook up or disconnect anything. That's just a good practice in general. So when you're going to switch moving head fixtures or whatever you're using on the batteries, do not turn the battery on until you plug the power con in. So to put the cold spark up here, plug the cold spark in. Let's uh, keep the switch off on the cold spark. Turn on the battery, good to go. Turn on the cold spark and we're good to go. So now we would just go through with the remote. If you're gonna use the remote or if you're gonna use DMX, uh, we're gonna turn on the heat function, get it all heated up and we will be ready to go. Turn that off real quick. So the ultimate question though is gonna be how long can you power all of these different devices to see how practical it's gonna be for you guys to use out in the field and what's my opinion on that as well. Interrupting the video real quick because I wanna let you know that we're doing a massive giveaway on bowflightingusa.com. Yes, a massive giveaway. These right here are the both lighting tubes, the brand new 360 tubes. They're amazing. We're giving away a complete four pack of them and anybody can enter to win. Just click the link down below. You can sign up different ways. You can get multiple entries if you follow us on social media. Go check it out again. We're giving away a four pack of these right here and that giveaway is gonna go all the way until August 4th. You basically can sign up. Anybody's eligible all across the world. There's no limitations. Anybody can enter to win. And we're gonna be drawing the winner at the DJX convention. Yeah, that's right. Both Lighting USA is gonna be at the DJX convention showing off all the amazing lights. And we'll be drawing the winner for the giveaway at the DJX convention. But wait, there's more. As part of the giveaway, if you guys submit a picture of your best DJ setup with both lighting. So if you got both lighting lights already, submit a picture of your best DJ setup and we're gonna be handpicking the top 10 setups that we see submitted and those top 10 people are gonna be eligible for the grand prize and everyone is gonna vote on who has the top setup. The winner of that grand prize is gonna be getting two of the bow flooding wash moving heads in either white or black of your choosing. So check the link down below, get yourself signed up for the giveaway to win four of these tubes and submit your photos to be eligible for the grand prize of two wash moving heads. Back to the video. And to explain that, we're gonna have to get a little nerdy on you guys. You're gonna have to get a little nerdy on you guys. This battery itself down here, it is a 15 amp hour, 24 volt battery, big specs, whatever. Let's translate that into watts because watts is a simpler measurement for you guys to understand and for me to educate you guys on. This battery is a 360 watt hour battery. That's the conversion. You go over to watts. So 360 watt hours, that basically means that this battery, is that the calculation? Was it 360 watt hours? That basically means that this battery can put out 360 watts for an hour. Whatever the power draw demand is, it can put out 360 watts over an hour of 
con consistent power draw. And the nice part about the battery is when you plug in something to it and turn it on, it tells you how many watts that fixture is drawing. That's the power consumption level of watts that each one of these fixtures is drawing. And normally the power is going to fluctuate a little bit. It's not gonna stay exactly like at 300 watts or at 20 watts. It's gonna fluctuate a little bit depending on what the fixture is and what it does. For the case with these moving heads right here, the power of just the LEDs on is going to be less than if the LEDs are on and the moving head is turning using two different motors, the power can be a little bit more. Same thing with our spot over here, same sort of thing also. You know, if the LED is on, it's drawing more power than if the LED is off. So all of those factors considered, I already went through and measured the average level of consumption when these fixtures are being used. Let's start with the cold sparks because these are the things that pull the most power as you guys can imagine. When you first turn the cold spark on and it's heating up, it's gonna draw 300 watts of power, lots. If we talked about it, the batteries are 360 watt hours. So at 300 watts of draw, it can be heating for roughly like an hour and a half before it shuts off. The good news is though, once the cold spark gets up to temperature, it shuts off the heating coil and then it drops down to five watts. Then when the cold spark is firing in combination with the heating element on as well, we can draw up to 485 watts of power. Now, I know you guys are, some of you guys are probably like, that math doesn't, I don't understand what the hell you're talking about, Rick. So let me dumb that down for you guys and just give you guys how long you can use these cold sparks with these batteries. You're roughly gonna expect two hours of standby time with the cold sparks. So if you're going to go set up these for a grand exit outside and you turn on the batteries, turn on the cold sparks, they're gonna stay on without firing for roughly about two hours. Now, in terms of firing time, if you were to basically turn this thing on and you just shoot it, just constantly shooting, doesn't stop at all, don't do that, you only wanna shoot them off in 30 second bursts. It has 50 minutes of firing time. In practicality, when we've been using these for grand exits and stuff like that, we've, we can probably get roughly two hours of total use out of these, even firing them about 10 times. The batteries are solid when it comes to using them for grand exits. When it comes to using these in an indoor environment, you're gonna be looking at one to two hours of use. It is perfect for battery powering the cold sparks for say a first dance, shutting them off, and then maybe for a couple moments later. But for the most part, if you're gonna use these for the whole entire reception, you're gonna use them inside for the first dance, maybe the parent dances, then you, when it's time for open dancing, you're gonna be firing them off throughout the whole night. The batteries are not gonna last the whole entire night. They're, they're literally good for about two hours of total use even with firing them off occasionally. So batteries, solid option if you are outside in any environment to use them for grand exits, say they want them at the ceremony, there's all kinds of usage that they could use these for. You're gonna see about two hours of use out of them. Moving over to our other moving heads right here, what is the power draw on these moving heads as well? So I had to average it because of what we talked about, but the wash movers pull about 80 watts of power and the spot movers pull about 120 watts of power. So you can expect to be able to use the spot movers for roughly about three hours of constantly being on. That doesn't include standby time. So when this moving head is just sitting here, light off, not moving, it's drawing like five watts of power. So your standby time is roughly infinite and I would just consider the amount of time that it's actually gonna be using for when it's on. You have three hours of consistent on time with the spot mover. With the 80 watt draw, you're looking at four and a half hours of consistent on time. When it comes to our events we're doing, I would say that the spot movers, it's gonna be a little hard to use batteries just to power the spot movers for the whole entire event because we're roughly gonna use them for the open dancing a little bit before it. A lot of times I like to keep them on during dinner and shine them up in the ceiling, so that might not work at all because we're only gonna get three hours of use time with the LED on. Now, if I save it for just open dancing, we probably can get by because most of the time open dancing sets are about two hours, so we could use the batteries for them in that certain scenario, but I probably wouldn't risk it to use the batteries with those. The wash movers, on the other hand, four and a half hours of constant on time. That is plenty of time. I rarely do a four hour dance set. So as long as I can get three hours of solid use out of them, I, I would be 100% comfortable running my wash movers 
on battery packs for the whole entire event. Unless I'm shining them up on the ceiling during dinner, at the weddings, that's another scenario. What the coolest part about the battery packs and using them with the movers is you can now put like totems and movers out in the middle of the room without having the need to run a power cord to them. That's really freaking cool. Being able to use your basically moving heads on wireless totems with these battery packs is a cool idea and a cool solution that you might be able to implement in your business to make your life easier. Now, personally, I haven't had a scenario where I needed to use the moving heads with batteries yet, but that is what you need to know in terms of the specs. And those are real world scenarios. We have tested our cold sparks, like I mentioned, and we are getting roughly the two hours that the specs and the math behind power draw and power usage states that they should be able to easily get two hours of use out of the cold sparks, even when you're firing them off occasionally. So to wrap it up in summary, cold spark batteries that can also be used for other things that just need a power con solution. If you guys want to get these for your cold sparks, it is a great add on to make your life easier when you're doing grand exits outside where they want to have the cold sparks outside for the exits for anything outside. Really, if they want to use the cold sparks, this is a great option. It's also a great option because we talked about in the cold spark video, these things draw a lot of power. So if you just want to use them for a first dance only, this is a good solution to be able to use the cold sparks on batteries and not sacrifice the power that you're getting from the walls that you might need to use for your speakers or other fixtures, moving heads potentially. So that's an option as well. In the moving head department right here, you're looking at on constant on time, roughly about three hours with the spot movers and four and a half on the wash movers. So if that works out in terms of logistics for your events, that is a great option for you as well. So the magic question everyone wants to know, how much do the batteries cost? And we'll also take a look at the road case that comes, it's a two pack road case that you can pair perfectly with the cold sparks. So we'll look at that as well. But on the cost side of things, you're looking at $1,700 roughly. The price I'm listing is as of June of 2023. So the price may vary in the future depending on when you're watching this video. But as of right now, it is about $1,700 for two of these units. It's actually, the batteries cost more than the actual cold sparks themselves. So keep that in mind. That's mainly because of the batteries in these things. The cold sparks have no batteries in them and batteries are kind of expensive when you're talking lithium ion batteries nowadays. So battery packs, two of them, we're looking at about $1,700 in the investment category. Let's look at the road case real quick. So this right here is the road case. There you go, nice little lid right there. It's actually the exact same dimensions as the Cold Spark road case. So that way they stack very nicely and take the same amount of space, but you just put them down in just like that. Um, it makes it really easy if you keep the ports up, you can easily just plug in your power cons and charge them directly in the case, just keep the lid open. And um, we didn't even talk about that. From a charging perspective, you're looking at about four to five hours from basically zero to full charge. So keep that in mind, these do take quite a bit of time to charge up. They also draw quite a bit of power when they are being charged. So keep that in mind when purchasing these batteries that it does take quite a bit of time to charge them up but you can get roughly two hours of use with your cold sparks, which is perfect for a grand exit. And then you don't have to run power cords anywhere at your events for those grand exit cold spark events. So like I mentioned at the beginning, if you guys would like to check out these batteries for cold sparks, you can also move, use them with moving heads and that. Go to bowflightingusa.com. The link is in the description down below as well as the first comment. You can also probably see a lot of the products listed below that you can just individually click on on the video itself. We have all that linked together with our website. Again, Bullfighting USA is my actual company. The beauty of our company is we provide above and beyond customer support. We actually have a two year warranty on all the products we sell. So if you have lights with us, moving heads, cold sparks, batteries, all of it is covered with a two year warranty. And in that two year warranty, if anything happens that's non self inflicted, such as a battery stops working, we will 100% either fix it or replace it for you to keep your lights working for at least two years. And even after then, if you have any issues, you can contact us. We have a direct number, all that super, everyone speaks English. I have two guys now dedicated. You might know Marcellus from some of the ads or stuff that we ran. We also now have Jordan also working on the team. So if you contact us, we can definitely help you guys out with any questions you might have. We also have a pretty sick promo going on right now, which basically if you spend over $1,500 with us, you get our 
marketing promo pack. In that marketing promo pack, we have five video reels that we actually had edited with professional video, all that good stuff, and 10 high quality photos that you guys can use. It's all white labeled that you guys can use to market the products that we have to your current client base and to future clients to be able to basically get yourself making money, selling these, and showing examples of what these things can do for people at their events. I also have a pricing sheet included in that so that you guys know what roughly I would technically charge for these service items, whether it's moving heads on totems, cold sparks, cold sparks at exit, or up lighting around the room. I have the pricing breakdown for all that, and I have a rental guide for how we do rentals, how we price rentals, and how we accomplish rentals to make the money and all that in a full rental guide for how you can rent out cold sparks, rent out up lights. Again, if you spend over $1,500, it will automatically add all three of those items into your cart, which is sick. We're basically trying to help make lighting as simple as possible for you guys so that you guys can make as much money as possible. And the quicker you make money, the quicker you pay these off, the more money you're gonna make in the long run. That's the whole goal here at Both Lighting USA is to make things simple but affordable for all DJs out there and provide you guys with the tools to make your money back and to make money and to make the whole entire DJ industry look better when it comes to offering these services, get you guys all the education that you need and answer any questions that you guys have as well. If you guys wanna check it out, bothlightingusa.com. Thanks you guys so much for watching the video. Hit the like button. Hit a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the batteries. Any usage that you guys would use that I didn't mention? Like, is there anything else you might try and power with these batteries that I'm not thinking about? Because the more things you can use these batteries with, the more ways that you can make money with them, which is really cool. Anyways, hit the subscribe button. And like always, keep them records spinning. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.